Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create data stores in ESXi server. As I have two hard drives in this ESXi server, one of them is 15 gigabyte and the other one is 40 gigabyte. I will create a local data store on the 40 gigabyte hard drive and another data store I will create in the NAS device. I have a virtual machine that represents a network attached storage or NAS device in VMI workstation. I'm using two NAS for creating the NAS device. And in another video, I have shown how to create a NAS device in VMI workstation by using two NAS. I will go to the ESXi web interface by typing in the IP address of the ESXi server. 192.168.101.101 and then I will log in with the root account in the storage menu no storage is available currently even though I have internal hard drives in the ESXi server first I will create a local data store to start, I will click on new data store and then select create new VMFS data store and go next. I will select the 40 gigabyte hard drive and give a name to this data store. I will name it as data store 40. And then click on next. It's showing total space. I can use part of the disk or the full disk. I will select use full disk. So it says before creating, I had 40 gigabyte space and after creating, I will have a VMFS volume with 40 gigabyte space. So I click on next and then finish. It is giving a warning that data will be erased from this disk that's fine i will click on yes so data store 40 is created it is a local data store on the local hard drive next i'm going to create a data store that maps to the nas device to create a data store on the nas device i need to add an adapter so go to the adapters tab and then select software iscsi Enable it. Now I need to add a port binding. So I click on add port binding and select the VM kernel interface that is connected to the VMnet1. So I select VMK1. Then I will add a static target and copy the name of the target from the NAS device. So go to sharing menu and select ISCSI and from the target global configuration tab, I select the base name and copy it and go to the ESXi server and paste the target name. For the address field, I will use the IP address of the NAS device. Keep the default port number as well as I will use the same IP address for the dynamic target. and keep the default port number and save configuration. The adapter didn't show automatically, so I will be a scan and refresh. Now I'll go to the data stores tab and create new data store, VMFS data store and next. Now I can see the FreeNAS ISCSI disk. I will give a name to this data store.
and go next I will select full disk and go next and finish warning about erasing contents on the disk that's fine I will click yes and the data store has been successfully created and that is the end of this video I hope the video was helpful if you would like to receive notifications on future videos please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell thank you for watching